we will learn about factors. First, let us understand what we mean by the factor of a number. Let us take the number 12. To begin with, let us find out the pairs of numbers that give 12 as their product. 1 into 12 is equal to 12. 2 into 6 is equal to 12. 3 into 4 is equal to 12. So, we get three pairs of numbers that give us the product 12. No other pair of numbers, when multiplied, will give the product 12. Now, let us take each pair of number separately and understand what it means. Let us take the first pair. 1 into 12 is equal to 12. Here, when we divide 12 by 1, we get the quotient as 12. And when we divide 12 by 12, we get the quotient as 1. In both the cases, the remainder is 0. Thus, it means that 12 is divisible by 1 and 12. Pair 2 2 into 6 is equal to 12. Here, when we divide 12 by 2, we get the quotient as 6. And if we divide 12 by 6, we get the quotient as 2. In both the cases, the remainder is 0. Thus, it means that 12 is divisible by 2 and 6. Pair 3 3 into 4 is equal to 12. Here, if we divide 12 by 3, we get the quotient as 4. And if we divide 12 by 4, we get the quotient as 3. Here also, we get the remainder as 0 in both the divisions. Thus, it means that 12 is divisible by 3 and 4. Thus, we now understand that 12 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Hence, we say that the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 are the factors of 12. Hence, we can define factor of a number as a number which exactly divides the given number. Or, we can say that factors are numbers you can multiply together to get given number. Now, let us look at certain points which we need to understand related to a factor with the help of some examples. Point 1. 1 is a factor of every number. Look at the examples. 1 into 6 is equal to 6. 8 divided by 1 is equal to 8. Thus, 1 multiplied by any number gives the number itself as the product. And any number divided by 1 also gives the number itself as the quotient. Hence, we conclude that 1 is a factor of every number. Point 2. Every number is a factor of itself. We know that 6 into 1 is equal to 6. 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1. Thus, 
any number multiplied by 1 gives the number itself as the product and any number divided by itself gives 1 as the quotient. Hence, every number is a factor of itself. 3. The factor of a number is always less than or equal to the number. Look at the factors of 12 which we found out earlier. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Note that the factors 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6 are less than 12 and the last factor 12 is equal to 12. Thus, it shows that the factor of a number is always less than or equal to the number. 4. Every number except 1 has at least 2 factors, 1 and the number itself. Let us look at the factors of 7. They are 1 and 7. No other pair of numbers when multiplied together will give the product 7. That is, the number 7 has at least 2 factors 1 and 7. That is, number 1 and the number 7 itself. Hence, we can say that every number except 1 has at least 2 factors, 1 and the number itself. Do remember these points properly. They will help you to find the factors as we go further. Now, let us find the factors of one more number. Let us take the number 30. The pairs of numbers which give the product 30 are 1 into 30 is equal to 30, 2 into 15 is equal to 30, 3 into 10 is equal to 30, 5 into 6 is equal to 30. Thus, the factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15 and 30. Now look at these factors and remember these points. 1. A factor of a number exactly divides that number. 2. 1 is a factor of every number. 3. Every number is a factor of itself. 4. The factor of a number is always less than or equal to the number. 5. Every number except 1 has at least 2 factors, 1 and the number itself. Wasn't it easy to learn about factors? Why don't you try to find the factors of some numbers yourself? Today, let us learn about the highest common factor, also called HCF. We have already studied factors. Now, let us understand the meaning of the term common factor. If two or more numbers have the same numbers as their factors, those factors are called common factors. Now, let us see what do we mean by the highest common factor. To understand it in a better way, let us solve an example. Find the HCF of 15 and 25. We will follow a three-step process to find the highest common factor. Step 1. 
find all the factors of the given numbers. Here, the pairs of factors of number 15 are 1 into 15 is equal to 15. 3 into 5 is equal to 15. Thus, the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. Next are the pairs of factors of the number 25. 1 into 25 is equal to 25. 5 into 5 is equal to 25. Thus, the factors of 25 are 1, 5 and 25. Step 2. Identify the common factors of the given numbers. Here, the common factors of numbers 15 and 25 are 1, 5. Step 3. The largest of the common factors is the HCF of the given numbers. Here, the largest of the common factors is 5. Thus, the highest common factor is 5. Hence, we define the highest common factor as the largest common factor that two or more numbers have. Thank you.